Scientists at Oregon Health and Science University just pulled off something truly mind-bending. They created early stage human embryos from skin cells. This is huge because if viable, this technique could theoretically help people overcome infertility by using almost any cell in the body as a starting point for life. It could possibly even allow same-sex couples to have a genetically related child. But before any of that happens, the actual method needs serious refinement that could take up to a decade before hospitals or fertility clinics would even consider using it. So how did they do it? Researchers take the nucleus from a skin cell, which contains all the genetic material needed to build a body. This is then placed inside a donor egg that's been stripped of its own genetic material. Here's what it looks like. This big circle is the egg, and that tiny white dot is the genetic material taken from the skin cell and placed inside. But there's an immediate problem. That skin cell nucleus has 46 chromosomes. Normal fertilization requires 23 from the egg and 23 from the sperm. So the next step in the process is to get the egg to discard half of its chromosomes in a process these researchers have dubbed mitomyosis. Yes, biology students, that is now a new word you have to learn. But how the heck do you convince an egg to banish half of its chromosomes? The researchers solved this by mimicking a natural process that already happens in the female body. When females develop eggs in the womb, those precursor cells actually start with 46 chromosomes and then go through an elaborate shuffling process before splitting in half to 23. So the team was able to chemically induce this process in the lab. From here, they created 82 functioning eggs, fertilized them with sperm, and got some to develop into early stage embryos. Development was stopped at day six, which is when embryos are typically transferred during IVF. Researchers did not attempt transfers or grow them beyond this point. But the technique is far from perfect. For example, right now, the egg randomly chooses which chromosomes to discard. But in order for this to work, it needs to selectively choose one of each of the 23 chromosomes to prevent disease. But sometimes the egg chooses two of some and none of others. There's also a poor success rate at the moment, only about 9%. TLDR, this work is still very much in the scientific discovery phase with a long way to go before we see this as a viable fertility method. But the vision is beautiful to help couples who can't conceive have biological children. And here's the wildest part. This technique could possibly rewrite biology because this method doesn't need to use a woman's skin cells it can also use a man's. This crucially opens the door to same-sex couples having kids that are genetically related to both partners. So more to come on this, I'm sure. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.